Our basic platform is a tabletop surface with integrated object tracking, physical actuation, and projected video. Our electromagnetic tracking system uses radio frequency LC tags, each with a unique resonant frequency. By measuring the amplitude of the resonance at each frequency using specially shaped antennas, we can determine the position of each object on the table with high precision and low latency. A small momentary push-button switch on top of each puck shorts out the LC tag in the puck, allowing for mode toggling operations. Beneath the table surface is a grid of 128 computer-controlled electromagnets. We can set the polarity and intensity of each individual electromagnet to control the motion of ferromagnetic objects across the table surface. We use a sort of physical anti-aliasing to smooth the motion, combining magnetic fields of varying strengths to produce smooth motion along curved paths. We experimented with a variety of anti-aliasing techniques before settling on a method that strikes a good balance between speed and smoothness of motion. Using the platform just described, we built a tabletop tangible interface for cellular system design. Our system allows users to collaboratively choose cellular tower sites on an overhead map and study the effects of tower positions in real time. Pushing the button on a puck locks down the position of its corresponding tower. The user can then move the puck to scroll the overhead map. However, notice how this operation produces an inconsistency between the physical and digital states of the system. Users can rotate or zoom the map using a two-handed technique. First a tower is locked down and then another tower is moved to specify a scaling and rotation transformation. This operation likewise creates an inconsistency between the pucks and their digital shadows. By adding actuation to the system we can eliminate these inconsistencies. Here we see the same navigation operations, but with the addition of electromagnetic actuation to update the physical positions of the objects on the table to reflect changes in the underlying digital model. Computer-controlled actuation also allows us to constrain the positions of objects on the table based on simulation rules. This simple example shows a constraint that preserves the maximum distance between two pucks on the table. This is accomplished by tracking the positions of the pucks and setting the state of the magnet array to move the pucks closer together. This example shows how physically maintained constraints can help us solve optimization problems. Here a user attempts to solve a classic chess puzzle called Eight Queens. The goal of the puzzle is to place eight queens on a chessboard in such a way that no queen threatens any other queen. Notice how the system prevents the user from making mistakes by physically moving the queens away from invalid squares and towards valid ones. In this way, magnetic actuation makes this complex mathematical system behave more like a transparent mechanical system. Constraints can also be used to physically synchronize two tangible workbenches across a distance. When the motion of a puck is sensed on one table, the remote table uses magnetic actuation to update the position of the corresponding remote puck, keeping the states of the two tables synchronized. This makes it possible to use our tangible interface for remote collaboration. If both users simultaneously attempt to move the same puck, each user will feel a force pulling against the puck, indicating the direction in which the remote user is attempting to move the object. In a remote collaboration scenario, confusion can arise as to whether an object was moved by the computer because of a constraint in the system or by the remote user. To reduce this confusion, we projected a translucent silhouette of the remote user's hands, captured from a camera mounted above the remote table. The silhouettes are extracted from the captured image using background subtraction followed by thresholding and dilation operations. The projected silhouettes reinforce the ghostly presence of the remote user and indicate his zone of attention. Our system supports both programmatic and physical layout constraints. In this example, cellular towers are programmed to automatically move upward along the signal gradient towards terrain with the best signal propagation. However, in this section of the map, this brings them to a high altitude area of the public park where cellular towers are prohibited by zoning regulations. By placing a flexible barrier on the table, the user indicates that the park zone is off limits. In this example, cellular towers are programmed to maintain a minimum separation distance to avoid redundant signal coverage. However, the user knows that the neighborhood around the hospital has a particularly dense subscriber base requiring additional cell coverage. By adding a physical jig, he imposes a maximum distance constraint between two of the towers. The combination of programmatic and physical constraints are resolved to yield new tower positions. Physical jigs can also be used to impose minimum distance constraints. In this example, towers following the signal gradient end up clustered too close together, so the user adds collar jigs to preserve a reasonable separation between the towers. By composing physically instantiated constraints, users can develop complex rules and quickly explore a variety of constraint scenarios.